Well, welcome back to Let's Play Deadly Premonition. We're back in uh, Becky's house, and we're on our way to figuring out exactly who Delivery Man Q is. Um, I'm going to keep this episode relatively short, just so I can get to a save point, um, and hopefully that means uh, I won't have to replay this game again um, due to technical faults. But we'll take some effort into figuring out who exactly Delivery Man Q is in this episode. But also, um, mostly I think we need to stop off at the petrol station as we're getting a pretty low on fuel. Um, we're not doing too well getting in at Becky's house. So anyway, Becky wasn't very helpful. Uh, we presented to do with the information we found. Oh, crap. Uh, she didn't seem like she really wanted to talk. In fact, she seemed uh, a bit uh, upset that we were, well, FBI or at least members of the police. Could be just that she doesn't like authority or maybe there's more to it. Um, again, York wants to talk, um, so I'll let him take it from here. Speaking of 80s movies, one jewel in the rough springs to mind. Deadly Spawn. Do you remember that one, Zach? Back in 83, directed by Douglas McKenna. Right. Filmed pretty cheap, but still it was pretty good. The monster design with the mouth cramped full of teeth. I love it. So many delicious B movie cliches. Did you know that they made a sequel? But I never got to see a sequel. The rental store didn't have it for some reason. They said the staff the sequel was totally different from the original. I wonder how the sequel turned out. You know the monster responded to sound. Wait, Zach. Sounds a lot like a movie trend. Back in 89, directed by Ron Underwood. Now, that was a great role for you. Oh, and, ooh, Christ. Uh, it does have a good point there. Tremors is a pretty good movie. Um, there are a limited amount of. Uh, dialogue options per chapter. Um, so when he runs out, I, I'm thinking of doing my own reviews. I did try that before, but due to technical issues, uh, I'm not sure if I ever showed an episode with that happening in it. Um, but I'll be doing it um, once your friends have things to talk about. Um, so if you want any movies to be reviewed, uh, leave a note in the comments. Anyway, we're running pretty low on fuel now, so I think we should make our first stop into the uh, Heaven Hell gas station, I believe it's called. And then we'll carry on um, from there. Now, I think we need to stop and uh, see what the gas prices are like. Well, this is one of the two people we could get uh, who work here, and maybe we're lucky. I've never seen you here before. You in town to see some sights? It's uh, Gina the Rose. What's your name? Uh, luckily, it appears she's uh, married. I'm Gina. Folks call me the Rose. I'm Francis York Morgan, FBI Special Agent. I'm investigating the death of Anna Grant. FBI? Wow, how cool. And, oh, I like that scar. It seems to be the second person that has pointed out the scar so far. And York tends to not really pay much attention to it. Fair enough, it's not much of a scar, really. Simple conversation. Simple. Yeah. Do you want gas or not? Hmm. Well, we could definitely do with some gas. Hey, people really like my service. They like it when I put it in, and they like it when I pull it out. Do you like the way I pump it? Well... Just for us in there, alright. Whatever you say, Gina. We need to refuel. Uh, fuel costs aren't too nice there. Uh, but then again, York didn't really comment on the fact that we bought uh, worms for a hundred dollars. Cleaning the car, even though it doesn't really look like she's doing much, uh, it replenishes the car's damage or the uh, car's health, whatever you want to refer to it as. 
That's all we really need to do there for now. There's a couple of side quests there, um, and we'll do them in slow progression. But for now, um, there is a card we can pick up, but I figure we'll get that later. So we've got to figure out who Delivery Man cured. It's, um, so far we've met Gina, and, uh, Emily, George, Polly, Richard, Sally. We know of Anna and Becky. Um, we know their names really start with Q, so we're not in much luck there. Um, well, we haven't been to the Angie Diner yet. So we might as well stop in and uh, pick up some breakfast or lunch. Actually, it's nearing close to lunchtime. Um, hopefully they're open. It's just past lunchtime, really. Uh, depending on when you have your lunch, uh, we should stop in. Why not? It's on the way to uh, the side of town, and well, again, like I said, we haven't really looked in there yet. We don't know who's inside. When we last uh, hovered over the icon in the uh, menu, well, in the map, should I say, I uh, noted that there are suspects there. Um, so we'll just take a look at who those suspects are. Oh, I wasn't too careful of you. I mean, the car control is a bit weird, really. I mean, it's actually smoother than you get with uh, games, say, like. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 4 um, in the Rockstar games, but really it's still not too comfortable to control. This is AMG Diner. Um, don't know what AMG could possibly stand for. I guess that's fair enough, uh, York does seem to like his coffee. And... Andy done a menu, which is again another car. Perhaps not, uh, so vital to the investigation. We've got a suspect here, we might as well talk to him. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. And you are? Olivia. Olivia Cormack. Well, we can assume Nick is Olivia. the other person who's here. Well, that's a lovely name. Do you think so? You're the only one who's ever said that other than my father and Nick. Oh, it's a very good name. You should be proud of it. There's that famous singer, too, isn't there? From the 70s? She's actually from England, but she's got this really strong image of being an American pop singer. Uh-huh. That's it. Olivia Newton-John. You know of her, right? She's not only a successful singer, she's successful as an actress, I'm too. not sure if successful is the word for it, but... Okay. Um, sorry, yeah. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Really? I think uh, that makes two of us there, uh... You should watch Olivia. it when you get a chance. You'll learn to love your name. Oh. Okay. So, Olivia, do you know anything about Anna that might be helpful to me? Oh, she was a bright and lovely girl. I can't It's really not really uh, helpful. Did she ever look worried or anxious? No, not really. I just... I, I can't believe it, really. I'm never going to see her again, am I? Oh, she yeah, we here can... with us. Can I so take you to her? and energetic just a few days ago. She and I, we were getting all excited over some new dessert. Thank you, then. If you remember anything else, let me know. Oh, if your life's so about dessert, and, you know, maybe she's a lucky one. Hi there. I'm not sure where you put that, uh, coffee pot. Um... Try to cooking. I'm 
good work, York. Um, why not? We are at a diner after all. So we can take a look at the menu. Um, a few things there. Well, the hunger's not really that low, but we are here after all. So, oh, the macaroni uh, salad sounds appetizing. You ate a lot. Take it easy. Well done. Try to go inside. See what happens. Hey, I'm working here. You can't just stroll into a chef's kitchen. Then perhaps you would give me your permission to enter. No. Get the hell out of here. Zach, everyone has their own sanctuary. Let's leave him in his. Um, like I was saying, I want to keep this episode relatively short. Um, we do have the opportunity to save now, so I think we might wrap up here. I just don't want any more uh, issues with the recording again. So, sorry about the short episode. Um, you probably could tell that already. Uh, that's all for now. Next time we find out exactly who Delivery Man Q is. I promise. Bye-bye for now.